Hi there, welcome to Tech Tuesday. In this week's edition, we're talking about Google Classroom and the new updates for the 2018 school year. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new math class for the 18-19 school year. Now Google Classroom will look uh, the same from the landing page here. You're gonna have your classes in little icons and you can go ahead and archive the ones from last year or you can keep them. Uh, you'll still be able to use posts from archived classes or classes that you haven't archived. Uh, depends on, on how you want your workflow to work or workflow. Okay, so uh, right off the top, formally we would see stream, student, and about. Uh, the student has been switched for people and that's our third tab. Classwork, so assignments has been separated from the stream and there's no about page currently. So in this video, I wanna walk through some of the changes and to get you started up and running in the first couple of days using Google Classroom. So let's start first with the settings. Formally, on each of the tabs, there would be some settings on the left. Um, those have all been removed and put into one place. So let's go ahead and click on the settings tab. So you have your class code here and you can display it. You can even go full screen with it so students can see and sign up for your class. If for whatever reason you need a new code, you can reset it. You can also disable it and then students won't be able to sign up if you want them to sign up um, all at the same time or for whatever reason. So this next setting is about the stream. So again, your stream is here and it's asking if you want to be able to post things only or do you want students as well? And it's a great idea to have students contributing and posting ideas and videos. If you're going to allow them to post, so students can post and comment, I do suggest that you put show deleted items. These are the items that they maybe post as a joke and then take off, but you can see it and other students won't be able to. So if they do make a mistake or whatever, you'll be able to recognize it and then, and then it'll, it'll have a record of that post if needed. Guardian summaries. Okay, so we'll open up this examples as well. Uh, this is just an email for parents, so you can attach a parent email to a student email account, and this will give them an update uh, either weekly or every couple days or daily updates on what's happening in the class. So you can go ahead and turn it on, and you can turn it on for all of your classes or just this one. So let's take a look at what an email summary looks like, and there's an example here. So a uh, weekly summary, and they would show you the missing work and some of the class activity posts that's going on. So a great idea to keep parents on your side is informing them. So you're gonna find that in your settings page and that used to be spread out all around. So I think this is an easier function, an easier tool now that all the settings are in one place. So let's start with your stream. And as you can see, all you can do now is post an announcement and the assignments have been removed. So we're gonna create an announcement to show you how that works. So later in my class, we're gonna play a factor game. So I'm gonna put the link up here. And I don't want them to see that right away, so I'm just going to save that as a draft. Again, you can schedule it and you can give it time if you're gonna be away or for whatever reason. I'm just gonna save that as a draft because I don't want the students to start at the factor game before I ask them a question. So we're gonna to go to save draft. And your drafts will just appear above here, saved announcements, factor game. So let's go to our, our new tab and this is classwork. Um, the biggest thing for keeping all of your tasks and assignments in order will be creating topics. Let's go ahead and create a topic. And this could be units or however you want to schedule your, your work. So I'm going to use units and our first unit is prime time. So I'm going to add and that's going to create a header. And then again, even though the units will be hopefully in order, you can always move them around again. I only have one, so I can't move it up or down. So I can rename them and I can delete them and, and so on and so forth. So I'm going to create their first task on the first day. And I'm just going to ask them a question. What do you know about factors? So I want this to fall under that unit. So I'm going to add into the topic unit. And then the instructions are pretty straightforward. I'm going to not have this graded. 
and students can either go, it's a short answer question, so I'm not going to add multiple choice. So I'm not going to have students reply to each other, right? And they cannot edit their answer. So I'm going to go ahead and ask that. Now, that's going to show up on their classwork page, but it's also going to pop up in the stream. So I have posted the question. So in classwork, it's easy to manage and see what they're, what, what's due, but it's also going to show up in the stream. So students are going to go ahead and answer that. Now, to sign up students, we've already seen, we can go to the code and get the code. You can also sign up students yourselves by adding the button here. So if you have their email or you know their name and they're in their database in your school, you can just add them ahead of time. Again, it only takes a couple seconds for students to add themselves and it gets them familiar with the process for other classes. So I do encourage that, but if you wanna go ahead. Now, if I needed to add a co-teacher here or another, another helper, I could just invite teachers and by typing their name and invite them to my class. So this is the one-stop spot for all of your teachers and students. And if I needed to email, let's say I wanted to email a co-teacher and the same options would be available for your students as well. When you do add students, it's also going to give you the option of the parent guardians as well. So if you've turned that on, it'll give you an option to add a parent email for them to get those summaries about what's going on in your class and their other classes. So great idea. So uh, let's go back to our stream now that the students have gone and answered their questions. And when they do answer their questions, I can go in and grade and all of your student responses will be here. I can sort them. I can add credit if I wanted to. And I'll, I'll be able to see when they've turned them in. But I'm going to go ahead back to the back to our stream. And I'm going to go ahead and post that factor game question. So now that they've talked and we've had a discussion, we're going to actually play a factor game question and see if we can hammer out the idea. So that's going to show up on our stream. And that is your quick and dirty overview of Google Classroom for the 2018 updates. Now there are still more things coming out. So I've been reading a little bit and one thing that's pretty exciting is the quiz assignment. So if I went to Classwork, I can only add a regular assignment which works uh, like a traditional assignment did. You can assign it to all your students or individual students. You can give them a copy, you can share all that good stuff that we're used to. But what we're adding is taking Google Forms and embedding it right into your assignment. So instead of opening up Google Forms in your drive and going through there, you can actually just go ahead and make a quiz assignment from here. And you can also have locked mode for that. So what locked mode will be able to give you the, the idea of locking down their browser so if they're completing their Google Form, they won't be able to go outside their browser. Now this will only be available if you have Chromebooks, so make sure you understand that before. So I think the overall new look of Google Classroom is going to help with workflow and it's going to put uh, more emphasis into where the classwork and assignments and questions are and it's going to help with grading. It's going to give students a clear idea of what is due and when. I hope you like the intro and good luck using Classroom. There's still a few more updates to come before the start of the school year so those will be rolling out soon and you can check back here for further updates.